Alrighty then, what the world has been clamoring for. Uh, okay, not really, might be stretching that a bit. But here is part two, this is the last half of the big giant snail. Um, more problems to fix. Uh, I do some two part putting in this and you get to see the final product uh, in this video. So enjoy. Alright, cuts top and bottom. I'm thinking this whole thing is just going to fall apart now. Hope it doesn't crack in half. That's one of my worries. When I was doing all that cutting outside, I had noticed there was a crack in this rock. And I figured it was just a surface crack. But now, I see it's cracked all the way right through here, through here. So I'm going to stop where I'm at. And fill that with glue. Get a load of that. Starting to take some shape here. And luckily, I, I questioned the depth of this, so I actually saved that rock. I don't know how it goes in there, but it does go in there. There it goes. Right there, that cavern that goes in there. This could possibly break off. If it breaks off of one piece, you glue it back on, and you go on, but. Um, it can be fixed, but if it breaks off in several pieces, then you got a job and putty work and all kinds of stuff. So, I'm going to take it's going to glue the rock and everything else, but I don't care. Oh, Jesus! Man, that's scary. I don't know if you saw that, but it wicked through and you can see it, that crack got filled, so I'm calling it quits, bugger that. Man, I can't believe how tough of a prep job this has turned out to be. I used to prep out gobs of these gastropods from the Scotia Sandstone and Rio Del Formation and if it was in really hard rock, yeah, but a soft rock, it usually just comes right off and leaves all the shell where this is turning out to be an absolute pain in the you know what. Show you what's going on here. Right in the pointer here. Right in there. Just taking shell off. So I'm gonna put a stop to that right now. I know it's hard to see. I probably don't know if I should spray that or not because there's a little rock in there, but it's too late now. There's the accelerator. That's going to hold that into place and I won't lose any more shell there, at least hopefully not. It's a good way to at least lose less. I'm just going to keep taking rock off here and there. Keep turning this thing around, keep taking rock off, keep taking rock off. At least where I think it should come off. I still am not sure about this side here. I might have to rebuild some rock. I'm not liking that, but uh, we'll see what happens. I'll wait till I'm done taking rock off. But I can see a lot has to come off here. I'm going to just keep doing that until I get the shape I want. I'm just basically building a stand for it, uh, one that fits the shape of the gastropod and whatnot. But uh, there's a lot, of rock to, a lot of rock to take off, but in areas and places. Some areas a little bit, some areas a lot of bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm getting to where I'm liking this 
this stand that I'm carving out of the original matrix. Uh, but what I'm going to do, if you can see these cracks that uh, were in the rock when I first started and I filled it with glue till it went to the other side, I'm going to hit that again, at least this side. Just so that it's full of glue. That didn't take much, that's good. And then you can see this spot right here, which I'm probably gonna have to put a little make a little rock, fake rock to put in there. Here's some more cracks. I'm going to fill right now just so and here's an area which uh, I a long time ago figured it wasn't going to be enough and if you can see that it's just this base is going to come along here is there's nothing there and even though it's on the back no one will see it uh, I don't like that so I'm going to fill that with a little bit of uh, glue in fact, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Not fill it with glue, but fill it with fake rock. Real rock, but fake. So, I'm simply going to tape that up. I don't know if it's going to hold or not, but it should hold fairly decent. And then what I've done, if you look over here, I've taken a bunch of this stuff I've been saving, moved away a bunch of rocks. And if you can see that, I've got a bunch of this rock, this rock that came off of this rock. And if you just shake it, All the big stuff goes to one side and so what I'm going to do is take the smaller stuff whoop dog here and just put that like so whoop can you see what I'm doing here I hope you can put that like so And you want more than enough because you know you're going to be carving it down. Now the problem with this though is carving it down with this cyanoacrylate is kind of difficult. But it can be done. But like I said it's behind the rock. Then don't get this on you. <laughs> Well, I can tell you about stories about this stuff. Holy moly. You can see how it's going down. It's going to take quite a bit of glue. There it goes. See, now it's coming down along the edges of the rock. If you can see that. Oh, put the camera in the right spot, Ron. Jesus. So all I'm doing is... Filling up that fake rock with cyan or acrylate. You can do it with other glues too, but this is going to go nowhere. Don't know if that's all the way down there. Oh, oh it's, it's down there. <laughs> Sorry, you can see it leaking out the edge over here. Turn that it's leaking out the edge. I'm going to I want to take that this stuff cure that fastly. Oh, it's going everywhere. Holy moly. So that's gonna have to cure for a few days. So I'm done for the day. Uh I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that uh 
a uh, couple days. Anyways, there you go. There it is, 24 hours later. It's very hard to work with when it's in this state because that glue is just it's definitely not rock anymore. But uh, first I'm going to take this to the sander, get this bottom so it's all nice and flat because that's, if you can see that or not. But that is not very flat. Hope that doesn't come up my sander. So, over to the sander. All right, put on this super rough 36 grit. Hope it doesn't get gummed up. You can see how that's not too flat. So I'm simply going to turn the sander on. working you can see that look at that flat as can be and while I'm here at the sander look how it looks like rock Oh, I gotta be careful. I don't want to drop this. Got a ways to go, but you can see how fake rock, which is just using a rock and adding glue looks like real rock that's why I saved that stuff okay you can see how this ridge easily you can easily see that and then oh, there's a pointer there's still shell it's kind of a drop down a step down to here but I not sure if it's broken there or not so I'm going to very carefully remove this rock a little bit see if I can find more of this uh, outer wall that margin Right, you know you've hit shell. I hate doing that, but I don't know what else to do. Acid certainly will destroy it. Air abrasive will take that soft shell right away. The shell being softer than the rock. Bad combination when you want to do some air braiding. Anyways, uh, let me try, I gotta concentrate on this, so I'll be back. Get a load what I just found. Put some lighting here. If you can see this, and you can see where I just took off this chunk of rock here. And there, hey, let me zoom in so you can see it. And hopefully I'll remember to zoom out. Right. There, you can see gastropod material. So I got from here to there to clean up, and from there, I don't know, I'm not sure how far that comes down, but a little bit of clean up. So, I'm sure what that looks like when I'm done. I might take a little while. I'm having a very hard time trying to see what I'm doing here. And I hit what appears to be snail right there which you can't even hardly see that's how hard it is to see so the tooth toothbrush and water trick see what's going on this really opens it oh man I hit that pretty good dang it 
right there where you see that white oh I hit that real good there and there damn it okay that's what uh, toothbrush and water will do for you it'll show you what is going on what's going on the rock is turning muddy some of that's coming off which is nice wish it all came off okay but looking pretty good overall still gotta clean this area up I got a little bit more to do here, a little bit more to do here. So, back to work. Oh, boy. Okay, can't believe how tough that is. Anyways, uh, clean all this up a little bit, a little bit more. Clean up some up here. I carved this uh, tail end. Uh, I believe that's called the siphon. And uh, now for the more toothbrush work. Doesn't look like it, but I'm actually putting quite a bit of pressure on that toothbrush. All right, see what we're see where we're at here. Okay, so here's the edge of the siphon. I don't know if that's beat up or missing or gone or what. You can tell this is a little bit beat up around here. Actually, let me zoom in here so you can see that a little better. You can see how that's kind of beat up right here. That outer margin that aperture, whatever it's called. There it is. So I think I got to come down a little bit more right here. Take some more of that off. So back to work. Okay, from the tail end all the way to the other end, or the other side of that whorl, anyways. So now I can do some more of my finer type of. Uh, carving I won't be using this monster very much anymore it's just too freaking big we'll see maybe in an area or two but uh, get rid of that piece of crap I'm starting to like that I'm gonna take this over to the sander and do a, some severe sanding hope I don't hit the gastropod so I'll be back Okay, back at the sander, you can see this rounder part where I'm going to be doing a lot of this. I can get a lot of it, but I certainly can't get all of it. Always wear your dust mask. <laughs>
Man, I'm covered in dust and it's still not done. But, that sander takes mm -hmm. off this soft mm -hmm. sandstone like nobody's business. Um, you can see how it's definitely taking shape. I gotta finish this off with uh, the actual. Well, I can't have it. Don't have it right now. But uh, yeah, I gotta take a break. A break. Go back there and do some more roughing out with that sander, and then come back here and use my Fordham with a hand piece and a little stone grinder to finish this off the best I can. Then it's back to work on the gastropod. I got a lot of cleanup to do on that. But uh, that's looking pretty good, eh? Everybody else says, hey. Upon taking a very close look at this, I've decided that I'm going to take my fake, you know, real rock, but. I'm gonna fix this areas here. I'm gonna load those up with some fake rock. I'm gonna load that up with some fake rock. And I got a lot back here. That's gotta be loaded up. That, that, the little areas down here by the base. And then I'll finish up carving this thing. So, like I was saying on this, this stuff here, just take it and Give it a bit of a shake. No rattle and roll, just a shake. Let's do this deep one here first. Just fill those up. And then Bit of glue. I'm getting glue. I don't want it, but tough poopies for me. I'm just going to hit every area like that. More glue. Don't know if there's anything there or not. Nope. So that should hold. I should fix those areas once I start sanding again. Uh, then all those big divots and holes and stuff will be gone. But there's still some on this side. Oh, be careful of this gastropod. Jeez, scary. Try to make sure you have more than enough. Always kind of sucks to have to do this twice. Believe you me, I've done it more than twice. And just in case. Add a little more. And then just a little area here, just to be on the safe side. Clean up your nose cone by just simply squeezing the bottle, getting everything, getting all the glue out of that tip. Make these tips last as long as possible. They're like a dime each or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, also, when you do, when you work with glue and don't wear gloves, you get <laughs> things glued to your fingers. So now I have a bunch of rock dust glued to my fingers in two different spots. All right, another day in the shop. 
So there's my final sand job for the, uh, the table sander over there on top of the table saw. Um, I'm going to clean up this area here around the siphon area, the tail end, and then I'm going to clean up this area right here. Work my way underneath here, maybe tone these uh, gouges out real big. That's a lot of sanding with the grinder, and this is the grinder. I'll be using just a aluminum oxide wheel. Um, I've got a bunch of work to do around here. Uh, clean up this area right here where the outer margin is. And before I do that, which I better show you, and I probably better get a clean, a close up of this. I don't know if you can see this or not. right get my pointer there's a hell of a crack right here and I don't think I've done any gluing on that so just so that doesn't fall apart on me I'm going to fill that oh whoa, whoa, that's sucking up some glue wow that's good Wipe off all the excess. Try not to glue your fingers together. And even though that's not cured, I can still easily do all this work that I just mentioned. So move my stuff. I've also cleaned off my my prep bench, all nice and clean, so I can get it dirty again. I'm going to clean up all this area with this tool right here, the ME9100. I'm not going to spray this with the accelerator because it'll turn to rock green and how deep green it'll go, I mean how how deep the color will go in this soft sandstone, I don't know. So I'm not going to take a chance. So to work cleaning up. <laughs> the more rock can come off. shaping all I'm doing to the contours that I want oh my lord I'm just starting to clean up this area right as I got here and boom it lifted that shell out the shell is still there show you this right there, I don't want to touch it. The thing is, I need to glue it and press it down because the shell moved up a little tiny bit. So, I'm going to have to add too much glue, but I can take this piece of plastic. Oh, God, this is scary. And press down. And it looks like I saved it. All right, that's too much glue, but I don't care. I saved it. That's where I'm going to stop for the day. That got a little too scary for me. I know it's a little tiny piece, but that's an important piece. That's the end of the tail here. Come on. 
Alrighty then. So I, well, it's days ago now, but I glued that. I glued all this. I glued all this. So I'm going to clean up all of this area here with this to give this something to go up to. And yeah, the more I look at this, I can see now I got a lot more rock to take off right here. All I gotta do is quit looking at it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, to work I go. <laughs> like that didn't take too long uh, I didn't do this area but I did this here I got a little problem there all the way up to here just roughing it out and then I took this over to the sander twice now and hit this again just so I can have a little bit of that I've got it here on this side where it curves that way I got this over here where it curves that way so I want a slight curve right there not necessary but that's what I'm gonna do but now I'm gonna start with this and start cleaning this area up right here well, I actually think I'll do this first so when I clean this up it'll melt right into there so get my gas pedal on there it is. And go! Oh, geez. Dusty. <laughs> Always wear your dust mask. Your lung protector. Alright. Brand spanking new dust mask. Get it to fit just right. Get my foot on the gas. And for the second time, to be a lot of grinding. I'll be back. Gonna take a while. I'm getting closer up to the shell here if you can see that. But every time I take that down, I gotta gotta bring it down again. Uh, I take that down a little bit, I have to bring it down so this has all smooth. Uh, I wish I knew how to explain that. Oh, I'm just looking for the right contour. Uh, anyways, uh, this is going to take me quite a while, and my shoulder is already killing me. Wow, did I say that was a lot of work or what? I can't believe I didn't have any idea it was going to take this long. Anyways, uh, I'm going to use this for the glue because it cuts the glue a lot faster for all these scratch marks in this glue area. 
Uh, you can see how much nicer that's looking. I've got a bunch more work to do here to keep going around that way. I started going around this way and the thing is you have to understand is that when you're grinding it has to go lower than the lowest scratch. <laughs> so you get all these little weird ones and you can't just grind that down because then you'll have a grinding divot. So you got to just keep going this way and that way and this way and that way and this way and that way until it's gone. So it's taking forever. But get a load of the looks of that baby. That's going to look so freaking nice. Jesus. I like this a lot. So back to work. Let me get. Don't forget your dust mask. I didn't use a dust mask for about the first 10 years I was prepping. That was a mistake. You can see how oops, all kinds of scratches they gotta come off, so I'll be back. Whew, it's taking a lot of work. I haven't shown you the three or four times I've taken this and gone back over to the sander changing the 36 grit to a finer grit uh, to help shape this thing. But now I'm trying to work around this flange here, this outer margin, which is beat up so it's kind of difficult and with all this glue and stuff. You don't need all that dust on here. And you can see how dark the glued stuff is, but it won't look near that bad when I finish this, which at the moment seems like it's about three and a half years away. Uh, I did some air scribing here to try to shape that. I can see I got all this rock to remove. So it's just back and forth, back and forth with different tools and just keep going, just keep going, keep going, keep shaping, keep shaping. And uh, I'm slowly but surely getting there, but <laughs> I thought I'd come out here and in an hour I'd whip them around this thing and uh, start cleaning up this this gastropod and doing some two-part putty work, but uh, two-part putty work is uh, that's not going to happen today. And I just got back from the sander again, where I hit all this area. You can actually see the sand marks. Uh, what took me 15 seconds. <laughs> Uh, would have taken me 10 or 15 minutes with this to get what that sander just did. Anyways, it's back to this thing to work. To do the finer detail work. Trying very careful not to hit that flange, even though it's beat up, but why beat it up anymore? So, getting there. Well, that's not done, but that's the brunt of it anyways. I came out here uh, shortly after noon, shortly after 12 o'clock, and it's, oh geez, almost 4 o'clock. So, almost 4 hours just for that. Holy cramonies. I hope NASA doesn't have these kind of problems. Anyways, uh, 
I'm gonna wait till I'm my shoulders feeling better because it's killing me and then I'll finish up the rest of this stuff uh, give this the final sand stuff uh, then I can sauce this up and then work on the, the gastropod when I sauce this up boy it's gonna look nice Anyways, till tomorrow, or the next day, or whenever. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's been a few days since I've been attacking this little critter. Um, I thought about, since trying to get the dirt, the rock, whatever, out of these uh, little grooves in this gastropod especially this area here this flange it's all wavy and liney and all kinds of stuff I'm gonna hopefully maybe take it off with this without damaging the shell because taking it off with uh, mecha other me mechanical means uh, it's gonna damage that shell and uh, I could easily get it off with uh, abrasive work but it leaves little weird waves in the uh, in the shell material and I, do I don't like that um, so I'm just going to wet this down a little bit, like so, and this, of course as soon as you wet it you can see exactly where the dirt is at, I shouldn't really call it dirt because it's cemented dirt so it's rock, get it on there real good and then My fingers are crossed. Oh boy. Well that's certainly not perfect, but that's actually doing doing something. Oh boy. That's pretty groovy. Let me uh get a paper towel down here. I don't know if this is going to work out perfectly, but that's actually doing something. Even a little bit of something is better than nothing, at least in my book. Huh, that might work. It is changing the shell though. But not like uh, with this thing. You can see where I've hit this thing and just turns it automatically white. So, I'm just going to keep doing this for a while, remember what this looks like, and I'll be back. Okay, I hope the camera can see that. There's still some really hard stuff in there, and I've even been taking my sharpened chainsaw file and hitting certain areas, but man, some of that's rock hard. Uh, but still, overall, it's better than it was. So I'm going to do clean up the whole thing like that, and that's about the best this is going to be. Um, and then it's on to some putty work or more carving or something. I started to attack this so ferociously. It's actually quite a lot better than it was. I started seeing spots in front of my eyes. <laughs> it would splat it up all under my... Uh, my optivisor's here. Oh, Jesus. Probably would help if I use a clean towel. There, now I can see. All clean. Good enough clean. I found a spot. Where did it go? Right there. I'm going to take the small air scrub to that and see if I can get rid of. Where was it? Right there, just a really hard chunk of rock, but I think it might come off, so I'm going to take, what am I going to take? I need more stuff, Jesus. Take this little guy here. Jeez, why 
Why do I keep missing that spot? There it is. Good as I, as good as I thought, but I thought, oh, Jesus, man, if it isn't something, it's something else. Apparently, I had my thing going on a wet cloth and got it wrapped around my wire brush here. <laughs> See, told you it's always something. All right, now then, jeez, I'm always forgetting, losing that spot. There it is. So, well, a little too aggressive on that one. Either that or softer shell. The way it's going to have to be, I guess. Anyways, more cleanup and then onward. Okay, you can see these. It's still a little wet from cleaning, but. Um, you can see this area here where the stone grinder couldn't reach. So here's something I haven't used for well forever. A bunch of little bits. And I put this one on, kind of a cone shape. And I'm gonna get in there and at least rough that out a little bit better than what it is. That looks god awful. That's going to work. It's not as fine as this. We'll have to get in there with some other smaller stuff that's not as gritty as this so that it all looks the same. Or at least as much as best as I can do it anyways. So I'm going to work on this for a while and hopefully clean all that up. away the big scribe marks now I got to get rid of these uh, coarse sanding marks to make it to these finer sanding marks so what do I do next I think I'll put on a grinder and get what I can a grinding stone a small one go from there this is what a grinding stone looks like when it's brand new and this is after I don't know how many hours of use. I used to do a heck of a lot of sand dollars when they get this shape. So I saved them just for stuff like this. That's pretty good. I'm liking that. Don't hit the Don't hit the fossil. Easy to do. It's not looking too bad. It's one of those things, the more you look at it, the more you can do, so you got to call it quits sometime. All right, took part of a sheet of 220 grit sandpaper, cut a strip off of it, fold the strip into thirds, got my water, but it looks apparently going to need a bit more water. I always got a couple bottles of water here. Don't drink it, but it sure comes in handy for fossiling or prepping fossils different stages and whatnot and I'm just going to give this a sanding it's that freaking simple I 
And this is again one of those things where you can keep on sanding forever and not really be happy with your sanding job. That's the way I am sometimes, but uh, I'm not as picky as I used to be sometimes. Certain things. Even though I am spoiled. I do have lots of crab fossils. And I like me crabbies. But I like me gastropods too. This basically shows you what you miss, but uh, take this brush, get that slurry off of there, and then take a uh, doesn't look too bad what do you think of that folks now the rock is going to be dark like this when I saturate it with glyptol that's going to hold every every little sand grain in place uh, solidify the whole entire base uh, in darkness like putting water on it and then this darker base is going to make this lighter gas, lighter colored gastropod stand out even more so as you can see. So it's going to be quite nice. So back to sanding. Then I got to clean the whole thing really good. Here I've got two part putty. Part A, part B. Epoxy putty. Uh, I'm going to make two different colors. I got my yellow. I got my black just in case. Uh, so... I'm going to just start mixing these and adding color to the colors I want. They're not going to be perfect, but just, just the fact that I can fill in these missing pieces, even if it's not the same color, is going to look a lot better than missing. This piece up here is going to be whew, quite the challenge with that lip, which is crushed and broken and missing pieces. So, um, I'm not looking forward to doing that one. Anyways... I'll be back after I do some mix. Okay, I'm going to start with the first one, the easiest one first. I've got those two colors and I left some just natural so I can either add, you know, lighten these up or make another color or whatever. I've got several different applicators, whatever you want to call them. This always comes in handy, sharpened chainsaw file. Putty knife, don't think I need that. I'm going to start with my yellow color and a, I guess that one will work. Bring that to a small point. Yeah, I don't like that yellow, but like I say, it's going to be better than doing nothing. And press it in there very firmly. Because it might come out, especially since it's got that glue on in there, that cyanoacrylate. So then, I'm going to take this little tool. It's kind of flat on both sides. A little thicker on the, the faces of it. And I've dipped that in water. And all I'm going to do is get that wet. Sorry about that. Don't know what I missed. Camera went off because the uh, disc was full. Put that in my camera bag. So, as I was saying, I don't know what I've got or don't got. I've taken this black and adding it to uh, just a smidgen at a time. And I mean a smidgen. That's even more than a smidgen, isn't it? But you can easily see how the... Uh, oh, that stuff's really starting to set. Oh well, that's the way it goes. It's harder than it looks, but 
you can see that's better than a than empty an empty Grand Canyon there colors not very good at all but still that's not too bad anyways I want to get back to work show you what the tough stuff looks like Boy, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Anyways, I'm going to work this tomorrow when it's cured. And this little spot here. And this, I didn't add any more of the different colors to it, but I've got the shape I want to make that look a little bit more complete. If you can see that. I'm going to do some shaping and whatnot tomorrow. And then uh, basically clean up and sauce up time. It's still dirty. Anyways, uh... That's it for today. Okay, I gave this three days to cure. Uh, we've had some kind of nippy weather lately. It's gotten down to, what, 36 degrees one night. But uh, that's pretty cured now. And what I'm going to do is grind down where I can with this little tiny grinder. And then I got these little tiny bits. Uh, one's in the shape of a ball, one's in the shape of just a cylinder. And I've got actually got three packs of that stuff. They're all basically the same the same shapes, but uh, different sizes and different grits. So uh, you've got a, a lot to choose from. Anyways, this first to take down what I can fastly. This will take down pretty quick, but I just have to be careful. And then to the smaller stuff. So what I'm going to basically do is take this, put that on its side, maybe get you guys some better light, because I'm very bad at that, and then just very, very slowly Take that down to where the highest ridges are, and then I'm going to take this little thing with a little tiny ball with the little sanding grits on it, and just put those little those little valleys in there. And then this will be for inside this little this little groove area where I'm going to have to actually get down on the inside. Might use that too. I don't know yet. Anyways, let me get to work and uh, show you how it's going to look. Oh, I'm hitting the shell. Gotta be so careful with this. I'll slow that down. I guess I could use this rounded part of this slightly cone shape. Get inside there a little bit. Trying oh so careful not to hit the shell. This is why I was so scared to do this. It's a scary stuff for me. It may not be for some of you out there, but it is for me. I'd like to see even Dave Osborne, Super Dave, try this one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, I gotta concentrate. I'll be back. Okay, a different camera angle, so you can hopefully see some of this, but I'm gonna start out with this thing right here. And if I can, I don't know if I can do this or not. Get into here with, jeez, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. Try to get on the inside here. To shape that. Now I gotta clean that already. This can take some time. But I'm just I'm just cleaning up the inside of that where this table is, this groove.
can only go a few seconds out to clean it but I found this wheel that I've never used for anything which does a really nice job of cleaning that up so that I can get in there again and take some more some more stuff down I know you can't see that but you can see I'm working so all I'm doing is oops sorry for jiggling the camera is cleaning up this edge here so it matches this edge right here and this is where it was crushed in so it just doesn't look quite right but uh, nothing I can do about that uh, so now I'm going to do this edge here but I may have to I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet ah this stuff scares me dang it all the heck I am now back to this grinding wheel because even though I've taken off a little bit right here I can see I've got to take off some on these uh, the tops of these little table ridges and then I can oh Jesus then I can get down in there hopefully and do what needs to be done I'm constantly stopping and looking So how many times I'm going to have to change bits in this, I don't know, but it's, you're going to have to do what I'm going to have to do. But uh, I will be back. Okay. That's not looking too bad. I'm trying to make it so it's kind of beat up like the rest of this stuff, but uh, that actually makes it a little more difficult, believe it or not. So now I'm going to use this little round barrel sanding ball thing. And try to clean this up so it's not so bloody ass oh, sorry not so bloody flat get rid of some of that dust so I can see what the heck I'm doing hopefully Try not to hit shell. That's not too bad. And as again, it's one of those things where the artistic guy sees this or sees that, and the more I look at it, the more I can do. It'd be like the forever job. So. I've still got this little area here and this little area here which I'm just going to hit just barely. Oop. Luckily I got this little adjustable thing so I can put that up there. Hang on to it a little bit nicer. Some nice little ridges there, and then oh, there's not much to do there. So I gotta look at this and see what else more I can do. See what else more I can do. Yeah, that's some good English. All right, got my glip doll, which is uh, mixed with acetone. Cut two different brushes, rather large for this type of work, or at least not for this type of work, but for the work I'm used to doing, which is crabs, which uses little tiny teeny weeny brushes. And first of all, I'm going to do the bottom. I'm going to coat this, then do all the rest. And when this is dry, I'm going to take my air scribe and actually sign that and date it and all that stuff. So here goes 
nothing. Oh, hi, darling. Hey, hey. Looks like you're making progress. A little bit. A lot of it. Man, that soaks it up. Not right there where that fake rock is, but the real rock, the real stuff. And there's a little tiny bit of, that's the outside of the concretion, that little angle there. Oops, geez, pay attention, Ronald. Uh, my plan was to save more than that so I could show, you could actually see where the concretion, kind of the size of it. But, oh well. Not everything works out when you're working with Mother Nature. There. That'll dry and do its thing. Now to do the base. And I put it on heavy, but I keep brushing it out so I don't get any glistening spots because that just doesn't look right. Anyways, I'll be back. There's the base. It's got some drying to do, but that's not too bad. It really makes these little shell bits pop out. But you can definitely see the glue mark. That was that crack that I just absolutely just loaded with glue twice. So now for the gastropod itself. spot there is just sucking up the glue. Man, oh man. Boy, it's a cheap brush. Must be from China. And when it comes to consumerism, we vote with our dollar. Our mistake. Oops, sorry. Don't mean to get political. Leave off at right there. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God, now I got glue all over my counter. Not the first time, won't be the last. <laughs> Jesus. That's always something. And there's that. Oh, my Lord, look at all that glue. Jesus. All right, I got a mess to clean up. Sorry, guys. And there it is. Found 1999, there, thereabouts, late 1990s, prepped. 2023, uh, the great RB, or the infamous RB. <laughs> so there it is. And these beautiful little 
felt pads so it doesn't scratch the glass counter. And there it is. You can obviously see the repair, but it's better than not repairing it, at least in my opinion. Uh, here's the repair on this base. Only about, well, a little over a quarter of an inch there. But, uh, not bad. That is a complete gastropod. Siphon, apex, outer margin of that last whorl. Just a freaking beauty. <laughs> there you go. And I, this rock will be out of the garage. And I can't wait to put that in the glass cabinet. That's a freaking beauty. Jeez, I love that thing. It looks like a piece of crap, but it's a beautiful piece of crap. There you go, folks.